Hey guys. In this video I'm going to show you what happens when you carbonate petrol and diesel. Now I haven't done this before, so it'd be interesting. You guys do like my soda stream videos, so I thought I'd step it up and do this. Now as we all know, CO2, carbon dioxide, actually is used in fire extinguishers to put out fires. We're going to infuse carbon dioxide or CO2 in petrol. So obviously when you use water, you're going to have nice fizzy drinks, etc. But we'll find out what will happen is if we put petrol in it. So let's give this a go. So for starters, we're using petrol. This is not two stroke, this is just straight four stroke fuel. So let's fill her up to the line. Now, I will advise this bottle here is out of date. Um, some of these bottles here actually have expiry dates on them. This is all faded away. This is out of date by about two or three years. So this is the reason why I'm doing it. And this soda stream here has had a problem with and I've always had a problem. So this is why I'm doing this experiment. So let's try petrol. Now the reason why I'm doing it in my shed is because I don't want to cover my house in fumes or petrol fumes. And I don't know exactly what's going to happen, so... So that's one litre of petrol. Let's give this a go. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, because there's no line there, I'm just taking a guess. Let's find out. So I'll go slow. Now that is very, very busy. <laughs> That reacted real quick. Check out that reaction. You normally the bubbles start from the bottom like this one here is, but when you actually start at halfway, the bubbles don't even touch the bottom. That is very fizzy. That was just one round. Now if you do have soda stream and you know it yourself, when you do one pump. One pump normally gives you a light fizz, and if you want more fizz, you add a whole heap more. So, let's add a bit more fizz to this. So as you can see, the bubbles have stopped. Whoa, so as we release it, that is amazing. Just how, just how the bubbles start about there from the back of it. That is so bizarre. I've never done this before. Now, as you can see, this machine has a leak and this is the reason why it doesn't work for me anymore. Oh, that goes so far. Now I'm going to see if I can take this out without it going everywhere. Far out. I, that is so much pressure to it. Just when air hits it. Right. Yeah. I can't even take that out with the amount of pressure that's building up in that. So I'm going to let that sit for a bit and hopefully the pressure dies down and then we'll take it out and do a burn test. So now the pressure's died down a bit so it's actually let me take it out. So that there is the petrol. So now let's go outside. Here I've got a fire going. So let's see what happens when we pour a bit of petrol on the fire. Now obviously I don't recommend pouring straight petrol straight onto a fire because the bottle will explode, but I'm going to do this from a bit of a distance. 
Oh, wow. So even when that's carbonated, it's still highly versatile. Still reacts like just like Soda Stream. Alright, let's dump this and then try diesel. So now, don't know the can for you, this is diesel. Looks bloody the same. Slider. So that's diesel. I feel a bit more safer carbonating that one than I do with petrol. So let's carbonate this one. Same way, same technique. So that's currently leaking out. Like, like I did say, this is um, this soda stream is leaking, so I'm having an issue with it. Oh, that's cool. Diesel is like an oil. Um, it's not, and I'm not too sure what the flash point of diesel is. So, oh, it does work. When it's full of diesel. <laughs> Check that out. It's really cloudy and then all of a sudden you just get this line of bubbles. It's not that fizzy. We'll try it a few more times. making a mess in this year. And this is the reason why I choose to do this outside. It actually looks like there's ice up the top. <laughs> This is just making a complete mess. <laughs> Alright, let's go do a burn test. So again this is diesel, has a slower bubble rate, but it's still very fizzy. Wow, that's amazing. I'll do that again, I'll shake it. Now we'll do a burn test. Now obviously diesel is used glow plugs. Um, this is just going to make a lot of smoke, but we'll test it out anyway. And that's still flammable. Let's see what happens when we pour it in a glass. Let's see if we get that same fizz as we do the soda stream. Oh wow, and we do. <laughs> this is diesel. I didn't actually do it for petrol. So that was just an experimenting on what would happen if you carbonate petrol and diesel. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see something else carbonated, put it in the comments. 
and I'll see what I can do. Thanks again. Thanks guys for watching.